It may look like toothpaste, but this 3D printing technology is spitting out a 1,900 square foot house. The concrete foundation, interior and exterior walls and utility conduits. This is the final product. We're trying to build houses uh, in half the time for half the price. New York-based SQ4D printed the model home in about two days with barely three workers, and it's cheap. Our profits will be higher, and we will be able to show that with more projects that we do. How do you sell a 3D printed house? I'd like to think it sells itself. What is the weirdest thing anybody has ever said to you when they walk into this place? Oh, man. Is it plastic? The company now has the permits to build on this site down the road, the first 3D printed home for sale to the public. 1,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, listed at just under $300,000. That's about half the price of a comparable new home in the area. The offers are in the thousands. We are getting, people, people are seeing the price across the nation and loving that. It's a layer by layer by layer of two inches thick. Potential buyers like the Johnsons from Kansas City are already lining up. We've been looking since uh, September of last year, and a lot of the homes in the two counties are just impossible to find anything at this price. And this quality. So this is the result, the raw result of 3D printing. It's kind of like concrete corduroy, but if you don't love this look, they can smooth it out for you and make it look just like a regular wall. But for the home builders, this is a real game changer. Right now, they're up against a severe labor shortage as well as skyrocketing prices for lumber. And both of those are combining to just make their costs really, really difficult right now. So this could address both of those. Back to you guys. Yeah, Diana, that's amazing. And it, the argument now largely seems to be price for 3D printing and, and what it can do in real estate. But 3D printing technology should allow companies to create shapes, perhaps do things with engineering that are impossible under traditional methods. Do you think that there's a premium end of this 3D printing and construction market? Absolutely. In fact, we were talking to the builder about what the outside of the house could look like, and he was saying that you could put literally any image into the 3D printer and customize the outside of the home. So it would look like shingles or it would look like a different type of wood. You could even put your face on the front of the home if you wanted to. So the possibilities are really endless with the technology. It's just going to be a question of what the buyers want and if the builders really, really buy into it. <laughs> Not my face. No, no, thank you. But, but point taken. Uh, Diana Olick, uh, thank you. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.